Hello and welcome to the PM Show, your weekly roundup with what is new and going on. This is going to feel really odd doing this twice, but hey-ho. I uh, hope you're all doing very well at home uh, and our little weekly roundup show. So we've got a couple of new bits in this week. We have. Which we I've got have winging have. down to me as well, hopefully very, very soon. So go so, on then, Phil. Go on then. Talk us through a mastiff. Uh, yeah, you know it's what? big, it's heavy. I'm amazed it's taken them so long to bring it out because it's essentially the Cougar. our version of the... Cougar. Cougar. Yes. So you thought that most of the parts would have already been there, so... Hmm. There's a lot, yeah. lot of bar armour, isn't there? There yeah. is. Well, it's taken them sort of like, what, four years, is it? Something like that? Hmm. To bring yeah. the out from the Cougar. <coughs> to be fair, though, with... I'm <coughs> sorry, Meg... You've got the warrior they've done, the new warrier, the husky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That chieftain 10 they've done, isn't it? I think mm -hmm. it's a chieftain mark 10. That yep. might be worth getting in for a review, actually, Phil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And now, and now that Mastiff. Um, so at least nice to see some modern British stuff. Yeah, it's nice to see some British obviously stuff. Obviously, the, chief, the chieftain, you know, is a bit dated now, but you know what I mean? It's hmm. um, There's some good stuff there, to be honest. It'd be interesting hmm. to see that, a review of that. Yeah. Yes, so I've, I've got that one winging down to me at the moment, so next week we'll get a review up on that, because, again, Meng stuff does seem to be quite nice, I must admit. Yeah, it's kind of a bit, bit pricey, but it's still good mm. quality stuff. I say I've got a bit of a nurse to build something from Meng, if I'm honest. Mm. Keep having a look. There's a few a few bits in the catalogue that, that you know, take, take me fancy, so I don't know, we'll see. Definitely. I'm uh, sure someone will come out with um, some photo etch bar armour for it. Hmm. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Just, I'd be mad. Bending <laughs> you know all what? of that, trying to keep hey, it square. Do you know what would be ideal for that? 3D printed. Mm. Yeah. Just yeah. 3D print it. Yeah. And then, and then an F4, another mm. one to add to the collection. So I've got this one coming in purely so we can have a look at it, um, you know, and I might just pop it out of the box and just see how the two halves go together, see if they fit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, it's the Wild Weasel, obviously, as we know. We've got the Zukumori one. Mm. Obviously, you've got the main one. Everything seems to be coming at twos these days. I get two options to everything. But uh, again, 75 quid. It is what it is. It looks very nice at what I've seen in uh, the CAD work and you know the odd sprue shots and things like that I've seen. So it would be interesting to see, having just finished another F4 last month, what that one looks like. So um, yeah, no, it should be quite good to uh, have a look at that one. So that's the G version, which was the last of the the ones for the US side anyway. Um, but uh, yes, there's a rumour going around about the um, German version, isn't there? Well, in, in the E version out next. From yeah, the E is out, and then apparently there's an F, uh, an F4F in the pipeline with certain manufacturer as well. So we will see. So that would be quite nice. You can do the, the German will... ones and the late ones. Because that, that'll be like them, the Turkish and the Greek as well. Do they yep. use Fs? Yeah, so I think they were Fs. There'd be some mega schemes with that. Yeah, like, yeah that's the yeah. thing. You're going to get all the tigers, the the, the tail art schemes, and mm -hmm. yeah, and obviously the Greek and the Turkish ones as well. They're going to be really good. So, hmm. I mean, the only other F48 was the old Azagal one, isn't it? Nobody else has touched the Fs, have they? No, no, no one really but does the F, which is criminal, really. When you think, as you say, you have got the Turkish ones, which I really like because yeah. they're the one that has like the sort of it's like a warthog front on those. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice. And you say the German ones, well, let's face it, you've got amazing markings and, you know, things for those. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and in just in their normal camo looks pretty cool. Um, but you say, and then the Greek one as well, it's like proper nice. Do you think anybody will do the RF one? Again, that's really weird because uh, it's laid up for it to be able to do it. And it's like, you know, like the Hasegawa one as well, the way that they sort of do it. But I don't know. It it's it seems to be like the RF one. No one really does. It always gets overlooked. I've only ever built one RF version, which I think was the Marine Corps Hasegawa kit, mm. you know. But uh, yeah, all the reconnaissance ones tend to get overlooked. But you could do then. Obviously, the other good one is the Israeli one. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget about that. But yeah, which which I've done, which was the old. Esky kit. Esky kit. Esky. It's a Larry box. It's a Larry of Esky box of the Esky one, wasn't it? So, yeah. and that's proper showing its age now. <laughs> but, it is, uh, but there's not a lot of options out there, is there, for RF? Like they say, yeah, I forgot about that one, to be fair, the Esky one. So, mm. there is, as a guy, as, did as a guy were doing RF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's. Yeah, I that's did the Marine Corps big, version of it many, many years ago. In the 90s, late 90s, that would have been when it yeah. first came out, that kit. 
uh, or the boxing of it might have been just a, I don't know when the kit originally came out but I know they did a reboxing of it and it was can't remember who which quadrant it was now but it's green it's got the green markings on it mm. um that's pretty cool I must admit mm, so okay. yeah nice uh, and apart from that, though, pretty much what we were talking about last week, isn't it? So we've got that uh, the uh, HS129 uh, yeah, with the massive cannon. We've got the other Phantom, obviously, uh, for that one as well. So you've got the Zukamori. Take your pick now. Uh, and it's say, nice to see the A10s are back in. Yes, the A10s so are back. you want to do the budget one of that one, so to speak. Uh, Hurricane yeah. seems to be very popular. Mm-hmm. As I say, the uh, review went down very well. I think it's up to 11,000 views now. It's gone mental gone viral so, gone viral that one so yeah mm-hmm. no and the other bits and pieces so it's nice to see we've got the old sas uh, jeep back in well yeah. got to have after rogue rogue heroes haven't you well this is it i suppose cashing in <laughs> we did, <laughs> but it we is did try and get the other ones didn't we but what the pink yeah. panther is that one out still the pink panther no it's the um the lrdg in it the yeah. uh chevy, the chevy truck well no yeah. tamia dropped it just before didn't they mm. they dropped it sort of at end of and and last year or be middle of last year, mm-hmm. just in time for that drop in, they'd have sold a bucket load if it yeah. was actually available. It's just so, yeah. I'm weird. wondering if they knew if they knew that Probably it was coming not, out. To be so fair, I didn't know it's coming out. Know, did they? Um, yeah. Again, that's mm-hmm. one of them that's one of them sort of trucks and stuff is like why is only the Tammy one from the seventies still available? Why has nobody else ever touched it? I've said it loads of times, but it's just mm-hmm. such a cool looking bit of kit. It is. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many different versions and options you can do with it. What they chucked in them just to make them their own, didn't they? For whoever mm. were using them. Yeah. I don't know. Just weird. You know, ICM or somebody like that thought might tackle it, or IBG, or hmm. I don't know any of them really. Even See, then. IBG is their type of thing, isn't it? You can imagine them going for something like that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Well, hmm. there's a few Very companies, nice. or you know, because because we've been thinking because Thunder models are back, aren't they, Andy? Yes, they are. Um. Because they obviously from the pandemic just they're completely now, went, they're now in stock. Yes, they are. Annoyingly. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, yeah. Because <laughs> um, they were really, really, really quiet. Mm. As in, I thought they might have gone out of business, obviously with COVID and all that lot. Um, but no, they're back in with a new distributor, so hmm. we'll uh, we'll probably be stocking something because they do the scammel tank transporters and because yeah. they've got a really cool. Um, Bofa's gun on the back of a what, what truck is it? I can't know what. It's a British truck anyway, and it looks mm, like yeah. proper, proper good yeah. bit of kit. So we might get up on a pre-order. We'll see. Cool, yeah, very good. Anyway. Uh, I've got the Cosworths as well, which I did the review of, which looks really nice. I must Ooh, admit. Did very, you see the nice. thing about what Andy said about why they're all left-hand drive? No, because they're built in Germany. Is that what he said in it, Andy? The, all the motorsport ones were done in Germany, yeah. Oh, right, okay. I'm driving, not right. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, see, makes sense now. Totally. It does, doesn't it? See, very and good. Did, did any of them take part over here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were used all, all over, yeah. They were definitely used all over, but just, hmm. yeah, they were. I just yeah. thinking because obviously the ones we've got is Monte Carlo and, and um, Portugal in it. Yes, yeah. So you can see them why they'd be left hand drive, but I presume hmm. if they're built in Germany, they're all left hand drive over there here or not. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. It's yeah. very interesting. Uh, we've got the Jeep down in here, which the review of this will be up uh, a little bit later on because I'll do it in a minute after we've done this. I'll get that uh, review of that one done so we can have a look at that. So that's the giant one, the uh, 1 16th scale. It's very nice as well. So we'll have a proper look at that one uh, a little bit later on. Uh, the other thing as well, I was just going to say, did anyone see the uh, news footage coming out of, uh, was it Myanmar? Uh, you know, because obviously it's a bit of a dictatorship over there. And it looked to me that they had Comet tanks seriously seriously go back and have a look on the old bbc or whatever it is but they've got a procession and they've got all their military equipment coming along and they've got some hinds and they've got a bit of an air force going on looks good and then it's i to me because i'm not a tanky person it looked like a comet tank been painted up very freshly bright green but to me it just looked like a comet and i'm thinking really <laughs> but hey. it, it did look like it so anyway there we go i don't know somebody can uh, answer that question that'd be lovely i don't know if it's an export version of or it wasn't a comet tank and it was something completely different but it looked like one it was very square and bolty shall we say so... <laughs> that's it british then <laughs> see i don't know why they don't get me on the tank museum for my top 10 tanks that'd be great it's square and bolty it's fine <laughs> it's a mark for male 
So yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, uh, so anyway, some nice stuff down in there. Uh, obviously, we're expecting new stuff coming in all the time, which is a good one on that one. Uh, what else do you want to look at, gentlemen? Uh, books. Books. Hold on. Books. Into books. 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 So we've got two new ones up to go along with the other. We've got the Hawkeye, yeah. which He's is just in time, isn't it? Do you think that was timed? Because obviously that scheme is the latest scheme by... Um, yeah, of course, Kinetic, yeah. Kinetic. Is it Atalari released it? in that marking or is it kinetic zone uh, kinetic alpha is it kinetic zone yeah so it's that marking in the, for the kinetic kit has just been released isn't it uh, just a couple of months ago well, well, this, french, scheme, is it french? this scheme for an orkai yeah sort of <laughs> <laughs> the buster scheme it, it, it is, french. is it french it is french yes yeah so uh but yeah no so anyway, book all about the Hawkeye, which is quite nice to see. Because again, there's lots of versions that are available now and the various bits and pieces. You need um, to tackle one of them again. What, do another Hawkeye? Well, a proper one, not that. To be honest, I've still got one there. I've still got the Kinetic one when it very first came out. It's donkey years old now. I've got but... the Italeri version with the both hmm. props and everything. Both. Yeah. You've got the modern version <clears throat> and the, uh, the older version. Mm. Uh, and more Phantoms. So again, this is uh, the US Navy and Marine Corps ones. So you've got the F4A. Really? What's the A? I can't think what the A was. Was that the prototype? prototype. Well, I thought they called that, wasn't it? The 110H was the prototype, weirdly. Anyway, uh, F4BN uh, and the JS, and uh, it's got the RF4B as well, which is what we were just talking about. It'd be nice to do yeah. the reconnaissance one. So uh, very nice as well, done by Phoenix. So some nice options in there. This is the first of a trio of Phantom Box they're doing. Yes. From what oh, right. Gather. Okay. So this is the first release, so yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's an F4S on there. I'm just thinking it looks like an S because he's got the lumpy bits on the side for the radar warning receivers and that. So, I can uh, confirm it's definitely a plane. It's a plane, yeah. It's all right. It's just because also it's in the camera. Oh, it's in that Ferris type scheme that didn't last long. And I think it's only the S's that ever went in that. Right. Definitely so, a phantom. It's definitely a phantom. Right, so anyway, very nice as well, and only £16, so it's not going to break the bank. So, uh, yes, definitely, with those ones. And um, we've got the other ones as well we are talking about. Are we going to get the Lightning back in stock? See where yes, we'll get the, the Lightning back in stock. Yes, we'll get a restock of that as well. Cool. Yeah, they've very... done, done well our uh, books, haven't they, really? Hmm. Yeah, no, nice, no. It seems nice to be quite a hit. growing the bookshop. Yes. Yes, that's it. We'll hopefully be growing a lot more in the next few months as well. So, yeah, um, yeah definitely. Uh, so we've got those. And uh, do you want to have a look at tools? Uh, where's tools? Yeah, stick in tools because we've got something that's come in. Yes. So, so Phil couldn't avert his ears for now. <laughs> I won't look. Go. I won't look. I can't but, hear. But yes, we are going to be stocking, for beginners anyway, is these sanding sponges, basically. Yes. Got a set here. There's a couple of sets, different grits and stuff. So... Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a bit of an on test as well. Yeah. But yeah, they, they're quite nice sanding sponges to be honest. So this one, which is the one he's showing, has got the grit. He's put the he put the grits up. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, well, sort of. It's fine. But on the box, he's saying 180, 280, 400, 600, and 800. Yep. That's that one. That one. And we've got. And you got the fine one, which is the actual fine one, which again is a 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, and 2,500. It looks like you could use these wet or dry by the mm -hmm. looks of the paper that's stuck. Are they self-cleaning? I, I don't know. I've never, <laughs> not really tried them in Angie yet. I'll have to try them. But... Are they dishwasher safe? Just oh, asking. Okay. <laughs> we will be getting but... the uh, refills in as well, won't we? So Yeah. Yeah, we'll be getting the refills in, yeah. So Yes. It's a start because... Uh, Obviously, we need some sort of sanding sticks in or sanders. So yes. that, that's where we, we've got to start somewhere. So we'll have these first. And they're not very expensive, actually, for what you get. Yeah, no, that's it. It's 12 quid for a box. So so yeah. how, many, how many of each pad do you get? Uh, it says on the thing, isn't it? Like six. Oh, is it 30 in total? Yeah, it'd be six then, won't it? Six, 12, 18, 24, yeah. 30, yeah. Six, yeah. yeah. Six of each. Fair enough. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. That, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Look. Not the different the thicknesses. Different oh, thicknesses. Yeah. And I never knew that. I'm thinking. Because <laughs> he's, he's only taken one out of the box. Hey, oh, so you get spongy ones and then hard is, ones, do you? Hmm. 
Well, no, they're all spongy and flexible, but the different thicknesses, I'm thinking, is this sort, sort of how they should be, or is it a bit of a cockle? <laughs> is it is it's broken? <laughs> no, I think it is actually should be like that. Hmm. So you get two of each. You get two of the thinner ones, Yeah. two of the medium middle mm-hmm. ones, and two of the oh, ones. ones. Oh, right, I didn't know that. That's there you go. Hmm. Bit of research helps, doesn't it? To be honest, what they've done is, I can help out on this point, is what we call the the cushioning effect. So it's how much curve is on each one. Because obviously the more sponge you've got, you have the curve. But they're not cored, are they? So there's no core inside them. No. So that means they'll be a lot more flexible each side. So they'll conform around a corner as well. Oh, that, Whereas that obviously, will, If you're doing yeah. a... Yeah, that's what I mean. So they'll conform quite nicely because it's not cord. Because obviously we get the cord, which is basically plastic hard sheet in the middle, exactly. and then it has whatever density of foam is on each side and the thickness yeah. of it depends on various things. There you go. If you wanna, there you go. You see, so it'll bend right round corners. We, obviously, that one won't look. No. Yeah, very good. Mm. So yes. anyway, so yes, Sorry. we are stuck in them. So. Very nice. Grab some, and you get a nice little thing to keep them in. You get a nice no. little presentation box, like and a fishing still, box. Still won't be testing them. Oh, well, I will. I'll put them up against mine. See what you could have had. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nathan's got a bone to pick with you, actually. Why? What have I done now? Well, why haven't you done? Because uh, that's all he got at Bolton. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, what? Where's the Sanders? Yeah. When's oh, right. Sanders back? Oh, why has he so, stopped selling them? So, yes, <laughs> tomorrow you'll be getting a, get, a talking to. Get it in to. the neck. Stiff talking like, to. Because like Nathan knows. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bless. Never mind. He is our official spokesman after all. Well, he is now, yeah. <laughs> and he's in charge of complaints. Nathan does that. <laughs> and then uh, John's in charge of dispatch and tracking. <laughs> anyway, uh, usual bits and pieces. We've got all your tools down in there as well. Yeah, uh, so if you want to grab any of those bits, you see you've got the usual thing. We've had quite a good restock on this now, haven't we? So we're not doing yeah, too we're getting, bad. Uh, yeah, we've got a few back orders. And Speaking stuff. of other sheets as well, obviously you've got the Tamiya versions, but they're not cut up. That's just like a giant pad, isn't it, really? Yeah, just cut to what you want. I like them, to be honest. I do like the Tamiya ones as well. I do like Sandy Sponges. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so we have got some options there, and hopefully we'll be getting some others in as well in the future. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So there we go. Lots of bits and pieces. You can see all the way down through in there. So we've got lots of stuff. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. So should we pop over to the specials area? It's the same as it was, actually. <laughs> There's nothing okay. changed. <laughs> we, we are going to uh, shake it up a bit, aren't we? Yeah, yes. we are. Yeah, we keep saying it, but yeah, we are. We've been doing other things. and mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, that does need shaking up quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, so uh, over on the pre-order area, it's gone a little bit mad now, isn't it, about the Apache, because it's getting very, very close, and I've had lots of people mention it to me, uh, saying about it. Um, When is it coming in? It shouldn't be that long, to be honest. A lot of people have got theirs already. And, uh, oh, look, there it is. Snowman, not Snowflake. Snowflake, (laughs) It's Snowman. That was the company. Right. Snowflake sounds better. (laughs) <laughs> Apparently, depending on where you buy it, it will either be a Takum kit or it will be a Snowman kit. But it is exactly the same kit. There's no difference. It's not a knockoff. It's basically like, say, in Hobby Boss and Trumpeter and I Love Kit this week, or whatever name they're calling themselves. So, um, yeah, it's a way of them splitting up the company a little bit. But it is the same thing. It is Takum at the end of the day. <laughs> where they got Snowflake from? Oh, that was me. I don't know. I, I don't know. No idea. But apparently, it's Takuma doing it very much like Trumper to do it. They're splitting up the company a bit for mm. uh, tax reasons. Mm. So um, it's a bit like us with PM. We'll be splitting it up into subsections just to keep underneath the various tax brackets if we ever got that far. <laughs> we wish. So, uh, but yeah, so that's why basically. So obviously, Trumpeter has Hobby Boss, and obviously, it has I Love Kit or whatever they're doing this week. So it's Takuma doing the same. So I know some people have said about it. Over here, we will get, I believe, it's going to be Takuma kits. Yeah. Because that's the distribution. So you can't have a snowman one, I'm afraid. I want a snowman kit. Mm. So, um, but yeah. So anyway, hopefully, as I say, there's been a bit of confusion. I'm not going to say confusion, but a lot of people have reached out to me about this particular kit. I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. I've seen literally the same as everybody else has seen. So we will find out. But I know there's a bit of confusion purely because of the um, the, the um, TDAC system in the front cockpit. 
apparently the later Ds have it, the early Ds don't, the US ones didn't or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's getting a bit confusing now. And apparently some people who know what they're on about have been chirping on about it on the internet and it's causing a load of confusion. So what I would say is get the E. <laughs> is, it, is it becoming a hurricane wing? It's getting that way because apparently what they've done is is that I, you say I don't want to diss it because I haven't seen it yet and I'm only going on what people are telling me and some things that I've seen on the internet. But apparently the cockpit is the E Guardian. A lot of the stuff that's in there is purely off of the E, the Guardian. So it's got the more digital front cockpit for the gunner um, and some of the bits and pieces and the switches. It's all from the E. Yet they're putting it down as a D. But then I've had other people say to me that the last of the Ds. They had that all in there anyway, so it is correct. It's only if you want to do a, like a like an early Gulf War one, you know, and things like that. That's a different pet of fish. But again, it's getting confusing now because some people have commented, and it's causing confusion in more than it's answering questions. So, yeah. But anyway, right. I'm very excited for it. It looks to be, I think, an incredible kit. It looks like Tacom's done a fantastic job. So we'll see when Meng is it Meng bringing out theirs as well at yeah. some point. <laughs> So we'll see yeah, what mate. Meng's look like. But to be honest, Hackham's looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going on what we can see at the moment. Uh, the other big one, and we say big because it is a big old kit. We've got the uh, Hobby Boss. This is the Scammel Commander with a 62-ton mm. crane semi thingy. It's a semi. Is it semi? Yeah. Yeah. Do we know much about tractor. this kit? It's a tractor unit. It's a yeah, tractor trailer yeah. unit, yeah. Well, it's the one yeah, accurate armor did. Though, don't they? Hmm. Um it's um it's a big, big, big truck. <laughs> well it's yeah. a it's a big unit actually. Yeah. The only one before that was available was the resin The yeah, accurate armor one. Accurate armor one. Yeah. Yeah. So I've seen that built up and it's a big kit. So, mm. you know, because people are it's a, it, the price of it, but actually you're gonna get a lot of styrene with that. Yes. Like I say, and the only other one is a resin kit if you want to try, try and tackle that. So mm. it's, um, yeah, different anyway. So, yes, if you've got uh, a big shelf, you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, we spoke about this on yesterday's show as well, uh, but this is obviously a reboxing, again, of the uh, BF109 G14. Mm. But instead of coming with Hartman standing, you get a seated pilot with this one, don't we? You, you do, yeah. You do. You do. You do get a pilot with it, yes. Because we were just talking mm. about it yesterday. I didn't know if you did, but you do. Yeah. yeah. I think he's a, um, I don't think he's a resin pilot. I think he might be a plastic pilot. Is it? Okay. Is it, um, um... Because they normally do resin figures, don't they? Yeah. Mm. I've got the screen. Uh, second. Report me emails. But as we said before, with this kit, you've got a ton of detail into this one, you know. And actually, I think for the amount of detail that's in this kit, having it up at basically just 100 quid, that's actually not bad because it is absolutely full on right the oh, way yeah. through. Zucamori Chocolate. at the end of the day. It's chock and pop right the way through detail. So. Please. Very nice indeed. Do oh. we think this is the definitive uh, 109? In 32nd, I'd say so, yeah. 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 And to be honest as well, it's it's quite a change that they haven't done a G6. Yes, everyone does a G6. Normally, <laughs> don't they? They do. They go for a G6, and obviously mm. the G14s are, you know, mm. a bit different. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think they did a G6 because there's a lot more options decal-wise, but... Yeah, I see something different. Whether they will bring out a G6, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. at some point. Yes, is to be the thing to do. Mm -hmm. I uh, I don't know. The picture is not very good to be honest with the pilot. So you get a type of pilot in there. It is a pilot <laughs> seated. Yes. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Any other ones you want to talk about just down in here? Any more? And I can't see on I my list. We're up to sort of date down in here, aren't we? I think we are. Yeah. Obviously, the mastiffs and the. Uh, F4, you'll be invoiced for from Andy because they're coming in. So that's another yeah. one. Yeah. We can we can tick off the list of we've been waiting for. Yes. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Yeah. I said, well, that flight hawk models, aren't they? The Dauntlesses, the mm. Dauntlesses, two different different types. Mm. Yes, that was the other one. Yeah, the fly hawk Dauntlesses. Yeah, nice which is the, we said back about this last week. Beautiful yeah, detail. We did, yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. the bonus set. It's obviously got the wheels with the photo etch, yeah. uh, and you get the picture, don't you? Yeah, so, yeah. but the again, incredibly detailed in 72nd. I'll tell you what we need to put up. Um, 
re-put up, I think, because I can't remember if we did it or not. And obviously, with the events of last year, we took it down. But the ICM, CH, what is it? The Sky Crane. <laughs> right, OK. So the Sky Crane is due out any minute, which looks to be very nice indeed, I guess. Yes. Nice. Went a bit quiet on that, but the box art is all out for it. And there's yeah, you know, lots of beautiful. noise about it. So that's always going to be uh, good. It's going to be massive. It is going to be a huge lump. I do feel for our member who built it and scratch built one, and now they've released a kit. That must be perhaps whilst... that inspired him. Maybe it might well, it might have inspired them to do it. They saw well, his. That's what I meant. Inspired then, them. Yeah, to do, absolutely. To do one because you think what they not... do just out of courtesy is send him a kit. Yeah. <laughs> so... You know, like of 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 helicopters they could have done. Hmm. Yeah. That wouldn't be jumped to the top of the list, would it? No. Why, if they, if you're going to do that particular helicopter, why didn't they just do a standard CH-53 and do it as a Jolly Green but, Giant? But, hey, there's method in the madness, because as we know, they always bring out the least... Yeah, the least desirable kit first. Desirable, yeah. well, yeah. normally the version, isn't it? Because there's going to yeah. be a few versions of the Sky Crane, isn't there, let's be honest, which, hmm. again, is is a proper unique thing. Yeah. But it does, it actually does make you wonder if, they, God, that that would be epic if they bought a 135th. But my point is, if you're going to do a Sky Crane... Jolly Giant, Green Giant. Why wouldn't you do it as, like, the Ericsson Sky Crane with yeah, a that... firefighting bit onto it? Because yeah. that's proper in vogue now, uh, and you could do it. And I think that would sell a lot better, unless they're planning on bringing that out as another version of. That, well, that's, that, that'll come out, because that, yeah. that's what they'll do. Because, obviously, this is is this the Vietnam one? Yeah. yeah. So it's the early, early one, isn't it? The first yes. stop. Yeah, and then obviously, like it's, it can be like the Cobras. You're going to get the, mm. you know, like everything ICM do. You're going to get. Mm. But I must admit, if they do bring out the Jolly Green as it, that would be mega. That would be. be I must admit, I'd have to build that because that's just like top of the tree for building it. Because that's basically the only one you got. Seventy second, the old Rebel one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't well, that the one you did, or add? I've got I've got a Fujimi one. Hmm. And I've got. In 72nd, this is, yeah. and I've got the old Airfix one, which is yeah. actually not a bad kit because I've got the early ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in 48th, you can get a German one, but that's not an early one. I don't think you because I was talking to you about it, weren't it? Can mm. you backdate it to build a proper yeah. Jolly Green Giant? Um, and then you've got the later ones, which was the Academy ones, aren't you, in 48th? But they're stallions, aren't they? And stuff. The thing so is, that's a slightly different one. That's the three engine version. It's a different and, helicopter, yeah. full yeah. stop, really. It looks similar, but it's different. So. Mm. Yeah, there's not a lot of option out there, is there? Talking of helicopters and stuff, actually, we forgot pre-order and uh, the Dragon, Huey and um, OH six A. Is oh, it? The loach. Oh, the Loach, the little Loach. Have you not yeah. put it up? No, I haven't. <laughs> right. So there will be shortly. By the time you watch this, there'll be a pre-order up for the Huey and the little Loach, which loach. me and Matt have both got. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got a Loach and you've got a Huey, haven't you? I've got the Huey, but, but yeah. This is, um, yeah, Dragon are re-releasing the, the Loach, basically, mm -hmm. or the Cayuse, is it? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Cayuse, um, which is like a Bell. Mm -hmm. five, it's a huge 500. Huge 500, yeah. Sorry, not a Bell. A huge 500 anyway, which is the Vietnam one, which I've actually got yeah. up, up on my roof. And then they're bringing out the D, D the Huey, UH1D, mm -hmm. yeah. Vietnam version. So... I've not seen them for a while. Definitely not mm. seen the the loach for a bit, have we? Yeah, no. 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 What's the difference between a loach and a cayuse, or is it the same thing? I don't know. I thought they were I... roughly just different versions of each other. The loach was the first one. Is it the cayuse is armed and the loach isn't? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the box art. Because one of them, with the, they've got the Sky Raider flying behind it, I think. Yeah. Like. One of the dragon box arts, I don't know, it might be whichever one anyway, what the difference, but they're bringing it back out. And obviously we had the one you've got because you've got the Israeli version. I've got the it? German one here. No, I'm on about the Cayuse thing. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. No H hmm. thing, isn't it? Because yes. you've got one there, haven't you? Yes. I can't get off because I'm plugged <laughs> in, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got them both here. But I've got the Israeli version of it, which was the 500 Defender or whatever they call it. The, the Defender. That was it, the Defender. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the, the MD500 Defender, because yeah. that's the one with the toast and missiles and it's yeah. got the sensors and all the stuff on it. It will be up for pre-order. Yes. By the time it's good live. It's, it's a bit late to the party, actually, for one we know. Mm -hmm. uh, I I discovered it through an email 
buried somewhere and I'm like ringing up and saying well what's the because there's no price on it or anything and actually mm-hmm. the prices aren't too bad so they'll be up for members to pre-order if you want one but it's going to be a short pre-order because it's actually due out yeah. end of Feb I think beginning yeah. of March mm-hmm. um, so if you do want any of them get your name down cool we right. thought that questions questions okay so first one up inspired by obviously devotion which got released on Amazon last week which a lot of us have seen <laughs> 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 it I is a bit it is a slow i'll call it a slow burner you could just skip the first hour yeah <laughs> and uh you'll be all right i think the trouble is with that film after seeing top gun yeah and then you're back to cgi again everything looks fake and a bit naff yeah so that's the trouble it set the bar so high with like air-to-air footage and stuff when you see it in cgi again it looks like computer game yeah which, so like, is it cgi'd a lot yeah, they've got a couple of uh, Corsairs flying around in that and Bearcats, but obviously, you know, like it's pointed out, there isn't many airworthy that are available for filming. So, Is um, anybody famous in it? Uh, yeah, the guy who played Hangman in Top Gun, he's in it. He plays I'm Tom, seen... the other guy, isn't it? What's his name? Oh, yeah. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. No, 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 no. It's the actual, the real name of the real person who was it's, it's, the it's guy. Weak, it? But basically, it's about, um, obviously, uh, a coloured Navy pilot and the struggles he's had to get where he is. That's what oh, right, the film's okay. about. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, he does get killed at the end. So, but yes. I don't need to watch it now. But it, it's based on a true story. So <laughs> it is It is worth a pun. If you're into your aviation and history and stuff like that, and you like Corsairs, then you can. It's uh, it's very nice indeed. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, anyway, so after watching that, uh, he's got the urge to build an F4... You, uh, yeah, an F4U4 uh, in his stash. I see that Academy, uh, probably due to interest from the film, are bringing out a version of the old kit, 48 scale kit, with new parts, decals, uh, and obviously that was it, Jesse Brown and Tom Hudner, 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 that's it, Hudner, um, are obviously the real people, so it's going to have their markings from it as well. So, yes, will we be doing a pre order for it? It's Academy, so it'd be a nightmare trying what, to get it. What version is it? It's an F four U four. An F four U four. Yeah. All right. Okay. The, don't Obby Boss do that kit version? They I do don't. every version of a course here. Probably, but this one's coming with the right markings for the film, though. All right. So this is it. So it's going to have Jesse Brown's planes and yeah. uh, Tom Hudden's plane as well. Right. So that's to be honest with you, like I say, with Academy, it's so hit and miss with what we're getting, how many we get, and all the other stuff. I'd, uh, hmm. We'll look into it. I can't. To be honest, I've never built Academy's F4, so I wouldn't know. As I say, I've done Tamiya's because that's a beautiful kit. Yeah, but well, they, um, they don't do that version, do they? No, no. This is the old, well, the yeah, the, the older version. Hmm. So, um, but yeah, interesting though. So if that does come out, definitely. Uh, Danny says, hello again. Can you please explain to me how a buddy build works? Basically, you find somebody a who's a friend. <laughs> find a friend. Find a friend on the forum. Um, and normally, like we say, if you can find a group of you, it's better, obviously. And like we said before, if you find 10 of you that want to build it, or whatever it is, I can't remember what the rulings are, I'll go and look in. But you find enough of you, I will dedicate a section of the forum to you. So it's like a, a SIG or a group build, but it's a buddy build. Unfortunately, though, and again, and I'm going to have to clear it out at some point. We've got one in there that's been running for years and nobody touches it anymore. So again, it's dead space in the forum, so they need to be pushed out. But normally they start with good intent and then everybody falls by the wayside. But it takes up a chunk of real estate on the forum to do this. But that's what we're saying. Normally, if you've got a buddy build and you've got like 10 of you on the forum and you're all going to build the same thing, then we'll put an area like a group builder or a SIG. So you'll have a work in progress, a reveal section for it and all the rest of it to do it. But to be honest, they normally they die a death. They start um, off. They start. They start off, off fantastic, and they, then yeah, a bit it, of gusto, and then it soon sort of like I, I, I can't remember any of them have actually really finished. got through the fruition. No, no. Well, anyway, yeah. I think what you should do, Phil, live on air, is delete it. Yeah, that's it. Delete that section. It's the form. Delete that section and yeah. say this is what happens when you don't keep up with your body builds. Mm. It gets the chop. Chop, just deleted. Not even moved. Deleted. Yeah. You lose a lot. Someone will be crying because all the 
<laughs> lost all the work. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Graham says, hi, guys. Phil, uh, you have mentioned that you're looking forward to the 148-scale well, HIP helicopter this year. Uh, what are you looking forward to, the Trumpeter, the AMK, or the Zvezda? Uh, also, what extractor model do you use? Uh, that's a bench bench 300D, is it? I think they call them. Yeah, it's yeah. a bench bench 3000. Yes, is it a 3000? I don't know, actually. I no, know. it's a 300D, I think mine is. As I say, it was a long time ago, but that's what they are. There's a link to it, don't forget, up in the members exclusive area, top of the site, top of the, <laughs> the actual forum, up in there. Uh, there's the link for it and everything else. We've, we've, all, we've, all, got, we've all got the same, haven't we? But Phil's got yeah. two. He's got two. We've I've got me two. And just got one. Yes, it's just I need more real estate for filming. So. Yeah, but anyway, uh, you get 10% off as well with the promo code. Do you still get it? Yeah, I believe so. All right. So, yes. Uh, as for the versions, I'll tell you what the versions will be. Zvezda's will probably be pretty nice, um, but probably be lacking in detail in some areas because that's what Zvezda seem to do for some reason. Uh, you've got Trumpeters, which will have loads of surface detail and look pretty nice, but just be Trumpeter. It'll be like a simplified version, which don't get me wrong, after doing the Hound and the Hind, they're still great kits, absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. But you might not get engines and various bits and pieces, so don't tend to do that level of detail. The AMK one, I haven't seen at all, so I can't comment. But knowing AMK, it'll probably have engines, have all the details. It'll be the middleman of all three kits, I would have thought. So, the MK one looks nice actually because there's a load of shots of it because it's not technically their kit, somebody else's. Yeah. It, but they're, they're bringing it out under their brand. Um, mm -hmm. And we've seen it. Mm. We've seen it at Mossin about five years ago, whenever we went. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if AMK bring out the, because it seems to be bringing out special edition ones now as well, don't they? Yeah. The boxing versions where they add some like a bit of resin and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I will imagine if somewhere down the line we get a, another version, obviously a lot more expensive. Hmm. Um, as it tends to be, but yeah, it's definitely actually, going to be a more sensible scale than the one I've got down there, the 35th scale one, because that's I'd, a I'd monster. Go the MK, I'd go for the MK personally, but yeah, yeah, simpler build trumpeter every time because they always are. So, hmm. Accur accuracy wise, probably the Vesters, yeah, probably, yeah, you'll be right. So, there's the, but then again, don't forget, there's the version of it which will be the 16, uh, China uses. Oh, there's a load of oh, well. not, so, there's a, there's so a load there are good references it's, for it. It's, it's not hard to get a reference for a, no. an MI817, is it? You know no. what I mean? There's, everybody uses them, really, pretty is much. Is it the MI8 they've got up at Western, or is it the Hound? Which one have they got up at Western? That's an MI16, an isn't it? It's an 8, isn't it? Is it an 8? It's an 8 or a 17, whichever yeah. one it is. Yeah, they've it's got an a, old East German one, isn't it? I they've think. got a 24, haven't they? Yeah, they've yeah, got the yeah. old East German uh, Hind up there as well, 24. Right. I might have a trip to the helicopter museum. I haven't been for a good few no, years. Not with a model, while. not with a model show, just to go to the museum. Yeah. Perhaps, we yeah. should, perhaps we should meet up, Philip. And yes, well, yes, we'll pop up. It's only an hour and a bit up the road from me, so it's lovely. Oh yeah, well, it's about three and a half hours for me, but you know, hey, it makes a change. <laughs> <laughs> I know, well, yeah, just have a peruse round because yes, there's some, there is some good stuff in there. Hey, look, we could have a members meet and do it and there. They've got Belvedere. Yes, they have, and they've got a Huey. Yeah, yeah, they have, and they've got the fastest links in the world ever. Yeah, we've got yep, Queen, they have. Queen's Flight, um, Queen's Flight Essex. Wessex. Yep. Wessex yeah, uh, some good well, stuff. They've got there. sycamores, haven't they? They've got, got your flying banana there as well, haven't they? Yeah, and they've and got Freylon. You guys going to say it's got your Freylon there as well, isn't it? Freylon, so. that that mm -hmm. passenger one, haven't they? Yeah, it's got that nice smell from the seventies inside. Yeah, they, all, it. they all have. They've all got that fusty <laughs> smell, haven't they? Oh, it might be worth a thing. Might do it when they ever picks up. Actually, I was telling. Yes. To be honest, who was who was I saying? I don't know if it was our lot or the other half or whatever. That I've got. I've, it probably our lot. I've got a real urge to get to Endon. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I haven't been down there in a long it time. It, yeah. it was. Yeah, it was our lot. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Trip down yeah. to Endon. I really fancy going. Because mm. we were saying about how hard it is to actually find it when you get there. Oh, sat-nav's rubbish. It just takes to the middle of a bridge. bridge. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah, you need to drop a pin from Google Maps. It's a lot better. Yeah. Or, find, or look for Hallants. <laughs> or look for, yeah. Yeah, go to Hallants and then do it yeah. that way. Okay, David says, last week Phil mentioned about the Tamiya only did the 32nd F15C or J. Uh, there also does appear to be an E. Okay, just to put this, I'm on about the single seat fighter version, not the bomber. 
not the mud hen. And I did say, obviously, if you watch the, the builds of it, that obviously you've got the mud hen. Because don't forget, this kit is a hybrid of both. So that's why in here we've had to open up the um, the chimney exhaust for the APU and um, take it, fill out the other holes. Because obviously this is an ease body with a C's front end. It's a little bit confusing the way that Tamiya did it. So, um, but yes, that's what that is. But the big difference is it's got a two cockpit at the front. It's got the big tanks on the side, the conformal CFTs for the fuel tanks. And obviously one's a bomb truck, one's a fighter. So from a fighter point of view, that's what we we're saying. Tamiya only did two versions. They did the C, but also if you can't get the C, they do do the J, which was the Japanese export version uh, of the F-15. Mm. So, and, the yes. only, and the only one Hobbyco UK bring in is the two-seat version. Yeah, the, the e. They don't bring in the C or the J. Mm -hmm. so if you do want an E, if you message me, we can get one. Yeah, we can get E's in. So if you do we want the two-seat... Um, the Mud Hen, the uh, Strike Eagle, we can get those quite readily. That's not a problem. We don't carry them in stock because obviously it's a big kit. But if you want one, message Andy and we can sort you out a price for one and yeah. uh, go from that. Uh, Adam says, good morning, Phil and Matt. I hope you're doing really well. Quick question. I've seen uh, later this year that uh, BPK, Big Plane Kits, um i'm bringing out the 72nd p8 poseidon as an mra1 which is going to be the royal air force version because it's got the markings and details to it um don't know whether you're able to get these kits in uh and whether you'd be interested or others would um yes so no, we don't we, have a direct route for them do we no, no we don't unfortunately i've just had a look no we don't get full trade and unfortunately hmm. i don't know actually who the importer is the official importer so <coughs> got a feeling Fair it's, somebody, it's somebody we don't deal with hmm. but i don't know I, yes. I could i could i could ask somebody though hmm. i will make an inquiry actually to somebody yes. to see if uh, somebody might be able to do something yeah. and then we'll mm, talk yeah. about it from there yeah talk talk to them so hmm. yeah leave it with us we'll see but at uh, the minute i'll say no but you never know in the future cool okay last up is just a little bit of a question was about this thing what do we think to it do we think this is the way forward? Cockpit sections in 30 second scale? I really like the idea. Hmm. I don't like the price. It is a lot of money. Incredibly a lot of money. Resin though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So just to go yeah. to our friends over at Hammonds and steal all their pictures. Hey! Surely not mind. Surely <laughs> they not. won't mind. Um, but yeah, they've got all the images. So again, this I, I don't get it, if I'm honest. Because what they've done is they did do, ResKit do the 48 scale one, yeah, which is a drop-in replacement for all the other ones. So what they've done is, I assume, is upscaled it and done it as a standalone item. Right, go um, back a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So go back a minute. So the 48 version is a drop-in fit to the Hobby Boss one. I assume so, yes. Because the Hobby Boss one, as we know, is all wrong on the screen and stuff in it. Yeah, it's got the wrong shape windscreen and that. So it does, it fixes that so problem. It's a, it's, is that a correction for that? Then? Yes, it is. It's a correction for that kit. Uh, and obviously right. gives you a fully detailed, really nice cockpit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, so, know, I didn't know that was available, actually, that the, they'd done a replacement. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's been out a while. And I, I must admit, I just it, it seemed to be <laughs> that this is what this is. It's like they've upscaled it, put it on a stand, and gone for the sort of the set. It's a bit similar to why you can get the um, ship guns, though, isn't it? Just on yeah. there. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just, yeah. I thought, if you're doing a cockpit set, wouldn't it have been better to, say, undo the front end, a bit like we were saying with the Lancaster? Yeah. Rather than doing yeah. the ejector module. For people who don't know, the, uh, the Aardvark and the Raven don't have ejector seats. It's the entire thing you can see there is ejected it's a set it's a what they call a cell or whatever it is pod uh mm. and it ejects the entire thing uh out of it and you can see it's beautifully done mm. in resin it's an escape pod it's an escape pod yeah so you know that's the way they sort of worked it um and it does look very nice don't get me wrong the detail is is fantastic and you obviously oh, get, look. Is, are these 3d printed do we know or are they just it, decals maybe know. 3d printed oh yeah it must be because that's that kel people which i've got for something I got yes, those well, decals. Actually, yeah. If you actually have a look where you've got that from, yeah. There's a load of their stuff. Kel, Kel, is it? Kel, yeah. Kel, Kel, whatever. I have everything else. There's a load of their Kel stuff down there as well because there's some yeah. good stuff. Yes. Yeah. But it does look really nice. Don't get me wrong. I think it's really, really nice. I'm not judging yeah. the 
the the quality no. of what it is because no, 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 it's no, no. purely beautiful and it really is and you get a really nice obviously yeah. that's a 3d printed instrument panel which i'm a massive fan of because they're just amazing a good chunk of photo etch you've got a mask set and you've got the decals i'm just thinking if you're going to do a cockpit set wouldn't it be better to chop it off get rid of the back fairing and then just have the front end of the, the aardvark even if you didn't put the nose on so say you took the ray dome off and you just had it like that would be I think as a modeler, I'd love to build that section in 30 second because I think that would be fantastic. Because again, it'll be about like this, you know, it'll be still, it'll be a similar size to what that is overall. Um, and you've got all that detail. You can have the canopies open, you could see into it. A 3D thing, as I say, is amazing uh, and it would work. But for an escape thing, I suppose, I suppose because, it, because it was a separate entity yeah that's what i'm thinking it is, yeah. it is well, escape that, that is what yeah, it, yeah. yeah hmm. I, I do but i know where you're coming from as well phil do you know yeah. what i mean i think like say the front end of a, of something yeah because i think like when you do the lancaster and stuff you've got the nose art haven't you yeah yes so you've got more to it because there's obviously some some stuff going on decla wise and like we've said about why somebody hadn't done the b17 front end is hmm. yes you know because that's that's Apart from the engines and stuff, that's kind of the business end of the... Yeah, absolutely, of course it is, yeah. ...of, of an aircraft into the cockpit, mm. and that's when you build from everybody's like, if you've got it open, you kind of magpie into a cockpit, don't you? Yeah, yeah of course you do, yeah. Um, there might mean, be some nice... I don't know. ...diorama vignette things with it. With the yeah, of course, the, you know, yeah. and it's saying, there's a very famous photo, the one that ejected over the UK... And it yeah. sat there, and you could make a fantastic little diorama from it, yeah. and you know, with a parachute behind it, and the crew getting out or whatever it is, you know. But you I just one on the stand with it actually shooting off like that, like the yeah. You know, so sort of, <coughs> it's already left the aircraft, but it's hmm. still still going. So, but yeah, I just, but I don't know. Tell, give us your feedback, peeps. I'd love to know what your feeling is. Would you rather see it as a a front end section? You know, 30 second. This is 30 second Hornet here. So you'd be talking sort of something like this, you know, with it in, beautifully detailed. All right. And again, the price is a bit meaty, isn't it? 130 quid. Again, though, but you're yeah. talking resin, aren't you? Yeah, it is. It's 130 quid. Yeah, it's resin at the end of the yeah. day. And it's obviously they're thinking it's a limited run type thing on this. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why it's so expensive. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So interesting. Mm. Love to know your yeah. feedback, guys. Write it in the comments down below. Would you go out and rush out and buy one, or would you prefer to have the entire thing? Then we'll go to ResKit and say, can you bring out the entire front end? Yeah. <laughs> You're halfway there. But, <laughs> but, you know that, if, they, if they're going down that route, then what um, what other things could they do? Well, yeah, I know what you're saying, no. but you, you could do technically any front end from any aircraft if you're yeah. on a limited space and that in 30 seconds. It's not you know, like an F-14 front end if you wanted to and things like that. Let's face it, we saw it with, uh, you know, engines for World War II fighters, wasn't it? I think they were a bit bigger, weren't they? one eighteenth scale or something, one sixteenth. Yeah. It's it, it hilarious used to do the... Um... Cockpits, wasn't it? They did the F-16A cockpit and wasn't it the Starfighter F-104? Yeah, yeah. You know, which which is actually their old Esky kits, aren't they? So back from back in the yeah. day. Um but no, I just I think it's an interesting concept. My point is, just to finish off here, because we're running out of time, is that there was a certain company who were telling us all they were bringing out a 30-second F-111, and I wonder if ResKit thought, oh, we could do a super detailed cockpit. So they've got it there and thinking, well, the kit's never turned up, so we could just release it as a standalone. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. So, you know? Mm. But again, interest. I think it's an interesting concept. And as we spoke about recently, we were seeing gun turrets from ships. Because to be honest, I've got no really interest in doing an entire ship. But mm. doing a turret, I think it's mega. Because yeah. I'd love to do that. And when I think it's TAC and release them, I'll probably be getting those because I think they're brilliant. You know. And again, we've seen um, the um, conning tower of the submarine, isn't it, in 35th yes. scale. Again, to do a 35th scale sub, no, I've got nowhere to put it. But to do the conning tower, again, I think it's good. So I think doing sections of particular things works really really well you know yeah. but that i just don't quite get tell no, me why uh, i'm wrong but... i need a sign prove me wrong <laughs> 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 sit behind me bench you know <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure they will but no i don't yeah. know it's it's different isn't it it's not mm, normal yeah. so no no Again, it's, it's, I think it's one of those things. It's a good thing to do because it's put ResKit on the map as well. Because if you've never seen ResKit, so I find it a little bit expensive, all of their resin, because to be honest, they do engines for this. 
but they're like, I don't know, 40 quid or something. They're very expensive. Um, but they do some beautifully done bits and pieces. And they've got an incredible back catalogue of all the stuff they do. But I think this is something new for them to do. This is a standalone kit almost on a display stand and stuff. So it'd be interesting to get you, your feedback on it and see what you think of it. Is it something you'd rush out and buy? Or would you think, well, perhaps if they'd done a bit more fuselage with it, I would do it as well, like a standalone um, or not at all. Nothing, you would don't like it. What were your wheels that I got you for your Harrier? Oh, that was somebody else completely, wasn't it? Yeah. That's not res kit. That's not that's, res kit. No, that was somebody that's else's. Somebody else's isn't yeah. It? yeah. It, was a bit, it would be interesting well, if they did do the front section and then that was lifted. Yeah, you could lift that. Yeah, down. if you could have that coming out. Yeah. 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 Mm. So uh, interesting, though. Very, very interesting. I think, but then, how much would that cost? That's oh, yeah, because if you're thinking that bit's under than that, you should double the cost. <laughs> I suppose if you add up what's in that with the resin, the 3D printing stuff, the etch mm. and all that lot, you know, it's it's quite a yeah. it's quite a lot of stuff in that box. Oh, yeah, there's, it's a lot it, in there. It's not, yeah. And it's, not, and it's not styrene, is it? That's the other no. thing. You know, you're and if you do think about, products. you're not being funny, like you know, I've got the Quinta set in here. That's what, 30 quid, I think, 27, 30 quid, just for the photo etch for this area. So you think, call it 30 quid. Then you've got your resin, you've got your photo etch in that, and it soon adds up yeah, yeah. to the price the it is. Yeah, <laughs> and so, your tax. Yeah, put your VAT on it and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it is going to add up to it. You know. So don't get me wrong, I'm not really That's saying, I'm just saying it's a lot of money for a bit. <laughs> so... You can so, buy a whole, whole something else for that. <laughs> yeah. Again, you know what I was saying about, obviously, like cockpits, as in like what, what they could do. If you're going to do cockpits, you need a cockpit where you can actually see the cockpit, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, like some of them, you put a instrument panel in other bits and it's buried in, you'd not see it again anyway. Um, again, some aircraft, you've got that situation where because the panels hang right over the side, yeah. Phantom's a classic of it. And the bits. It's very difficult to see down inside to see what's going on. Crusaders are the yeah. same and Corsairs and things like that. You can't really see much in there. And I used to say to people, if you're going to do it, just put a good, nice quality resin ejector seat in it. That's all it needs because you can't see yeah. the rest, you know. But if yeah. you've got F-16s and things like that, they're a little bit more open. You can yeah. see everything down in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, But again, yeah. it is. But World War II bombers, front ends, as I say, what we need then is obviously the Liberator front end in 35th, a B-25's front end, in you know sort of sorry 30 second scale you know things like that because again that's the business <laughs> end of a bomber and mm, i would love yeah. to see all of those done and obviously we've got the lancaster so it'll be interesting to see if it, it takes off and people go for it and start because again you've built it and you enjoyed the build didn't it? you got no interest in building actually, the yeah. entire thing but the front end you yeah. did a great job on it and it looks cool in the cabinet to be honest yeah. with you yeah. it does um it, it I'm really not being funny. Does. You get as much interest seeing the front end of it, and I've seen it in real life as well. And it's so it's quite a chunk anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's the same. You know, sort of. You know, it's a big bit, and it, it's not like hidden away. It's not like oh, you can't really see it. It's a big in your face, and it looks fantastic, and you can see all the detail with it. So that's the nice thing about it. Yeah, if you had the entire Lancaster there, you'd have to hang it on the wall or something out the way. You wouldn't be able to see Nobody, it. Nobody. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> Nobody would would see it because mm. you say you'd have to really like say hang it or it is just too big. I just mm. I said I just can't can't get my head around why they've never done the B seventeen. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just not standalone front end with all the nose arts and all the yeah. you know what I mean. They've done an F and a G or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, let's be honest. If they did a Memphis Bell front end, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it, it, people would buy it. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. know, or your old pub or whichever one, mm. it'd sell a ton of them, wouldn't they? You know, yes. yeah. or, or just the famous ones. You know, if you're doing a B26 Marauder, if you do flak bait or yeah, yeah, ones that people know. Obviously, from the from the decal point of view, decal companies they could go to town, and they, you know what I mean, mm. and they would. But if you just bring out the famous ones that people know of, mm. you know, if you bring out um, you know, like the B24s, they had the star sign ones, didn't they? The, the yeah. Sagittarius Capricorn and all them, which are really famous B24s, or mm. even the assembly ship ones. I was going to say, you got the assembly ships, yeah. yeah. The bright ones, you know, the knackered ones are used for assembly ships. My yeah. God, they look brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, we need to get a campaign going. We do, absolutely. We need to do this. We haven't got we enough do, money we... to do it ourselves, so we'll get. <laughs> other people to do it well if, i tell you what if, if, if hk will take hk because they've got the the b17 if they actually did release the front end i'd mm. build it yeah oh, i would as well i yeah. would get one and build it because i know obviously um after building the 
the Lancaster front end. It looked really good with that, and it was mm-hmm. it was a really nice build. I know it took me a while, but that was just well, me, you had a break the in kit. the middle of it. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, it was just me. That weren't the kit. Um, mm. And like I say, it came out really well. It's it's enough of mm. what I want anyway. For you, you know. So yes. yeah. Anyway. Cool. Right, last up, just before we go, uh, don't forget, everybody, tomorrow night, 7.30, we've got our live auction. Obviously, this is for members, so you can come along and you can bid. Uh, Usual thing is applied to this, if I troll this down. These are in lots. Uh, We'll be along here. We'll get the drinks going. We'll have a few laughs. We'll have a break in the middle and all the bits of these. So it's not just about buying. It'll be a giggle and being on with us anyway. So if you want to join in with this one, if you do see anything and you're not around, oh, look, Sabre Dog. Hey, uh, no, you don't want Roger Moore in a space suit. Well, yeah. this is it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some really nice stuff down in here, as you can see. Um, usual thing, if you're not around, obviously you have to be a member to bid on any of these. Um, but you can do a pre-bid via our very own Andy, our hostess with the mostess. He will be able to take your bid and bid on your behalf. So obviously, usual thing, we start it off at a really stupid price. And yeah. then obviously we have live bids in there. And then obviously, if you want to bid, Andy will bid on your behalf. So if you can't make it, it's fine. And then uh, obviously we'll let you know if you've won it. And if you haven't, well, we won't tell you and you have to watch the programme. And obviously if two people have bid on the same item, mm-hmm. it goes at the price of the second lowest, the, the second highest bid yes. is where we start from. So that yeah, the highest bid then carries on going. Mm-hmm. Um, if two people have bid exactly the same amount, which I know has happened yeah. um, mm-hmm. at the moment, <laughs> It'll be the person who's first who placed the bid first. Yes, so the first person did it is the one that wins it because I think we did have it once, wasn't it? Two people yeah, did the same, but obviously, yeah, yeah. I've got a moment where two people bid exactly the same price on the same item. Yeah, so the person that sent me the message first is the person that will be, mm-hmm. and it's bidding in pounds, not pence. So none of this I'll bid one pound yeah. twenty seven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a few that have come through that have like something in 20 pence but yeah we'll just take yeah, it it's all usual whole, thing it's whole, all, whole in, all in your pants but there's some very nice stuff in there look it's andy's look andy will cry when those go look you know he'll be free to buy some more <laughs> yeah he's freed up some space <laughs> to go through uh and we've got some of nathan's down in there and uh all of these kits are new and sealed otherwise noted um, but say some of them are from the PM store, some of them are mine, some of them are Nathan, some of them are Andy's as well. So uh, usual thing, if they're in different locations, we'll post from that location. If it's all from the same place, we can combine shipping uh, and keep the cost down to you as well. Yep. yep. So yes, very, very good. Yeah. Right. Okay, then, guys, we have done an hour, so we better leave it right there. So uh, we will see you all tomorrow night at 7.30, hopefully live. We'll be on for there. Matt has got a couple of videos for you tomorrow. He's got a vlog. Yes, I am. and we've got part one of the ambulance, the Katie ambulance, up, yeah, as well. Yep. So those will be up with you uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll pop them up obviously before we're live in the evening as well. And I'll obviously go back with you on Friday with the next part of the F15, which I think is part four. We'll be up with you and obviously for the full roundup show as well. So uh, yes, we can go from there. Right, okay then, guys, we will leave it right there. Thank you very much for joining us today. Happy modeling. Take care. We'll see you very soon. Say goodbye, gentlemen. We're out of here. Bye. Bye. Bye.